Hey, Hope City, my name is Zach Wilson. I'm so glad that you're back joining us again for 21 Days of Prayer and Fasting. And today, I get to talk to you about joy. Have you ever come across that person that's just over the moon with excitement? And I mean like all the time. You know the type. It's the kind of person that just lights up any room that they step into. Well, over the last few months, I've bumped into a few of these characters, each of them just leaving a lasting impression for me. And for a while, I couldn't quite nail down exactly what I was starting to feel, but over time, I started to recognize something. I recognized that they had something that I didn't, and I realized I'd lost my joy. And the worst part of it is, up until this point, I hadn't even noticed. You mean, I was happy, but happiness is often dependent on circumstances or it's an emotional response to an external situation. But true joy, true joy is an internal state of contentment that's not dependent on anything else, but instead it's drawn from the Lord. Now, I might step on some toes here, but if we aren't intentionally cultivating joy in our daily lives, it leaves space for something else to take root in us. For some of us, that could look like cynicism, unforgiveness, or even anger. And in my situation, it's no surprise that there was an absence of joy when I was continually allowing these negative things, these negative things to steer my life. Fortunately for us, there's plenty of scriptures that teach us how we can cultivate joy in our lives. Psalms chapter 16, verse 11, it says this, you show me the way of life, granting me joy of your presence and pleasures of living with you forever. The scripture tells us that God's will for our lives, it's not hidden. His desire is that you would be in communion with him today. And despite any trials that you may be facing, you can rest assured knowing that you can find joy in your circumstances. Hope City, our joy is found in one place, and that's in the presence of the Lord. And not just that, but God desires the fullness of joy in your life, joy abounding, joy everlasting. Some of you may be looking for this joy in the world, and you may have found a temporary fix, but know that it will not last. You've heard it said, the joy of the Lord is my what? is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. And my challenge to you today is that you would intentionally take time to delight in the Lord. Set a moment to take a part, just to be able to talk to him, to enjoy him and delight in him and to worship him. And I hope that that would bring you joy and that you would be encouraged today as you continue to press in, to dig deeper into the things of God during this season, 21 days of prayer and fasting. So let's pray. Father, thank you so much for your presence. God, thank you that as children, we have the opportunity just to be with you and to come into your presence and to bring you our emotions, everything that we're feeling, the things that we're worried about, the things that we're excited about, God. And thank you that you carry those things for us, Lord, that you say, come to me and you will find joy and not just joy, Lord, but you have joy abounding, joy everlasting, Lord. So today, no matter where we are, no matter what we're feeling, God, I pray pray that you would begin to light us up, Lord, like the people stepping into those rooms, Lord. Would we be like the city on a hill that gives light in the darkness, Lord, that other people would bump into our joy and rub up and say, man, I, I want what you have. I want the joy of the Lord, God. So thank you that you are pouring into your children. Thank you that you're speaking to us, God. And I can pray that you would continue to guide us through this time of 21 days of prayer and fasting. We love you. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Hope City, have a great rest of your day.